Good evening everyone. So a couple of months ago I put together this video how to combine two images with Krita and apparently there were some viewers who wanted to see uh, <laughs> this does not work and also how do you put the pictures onto a layer. So a couple of things have changed since I made this video. Uh, I believe when I first grabbed this, this was still on um, beta. Uh, when it was released um, so let's go over it then um, and see if we can duplicate the same effect I think there are some subtle changes though all right let's get going all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, let's see so when I first ran this I didn't have these tools here on the left hand side so in order to get those here you need to click right click on this section here and enable toolbox then you're gonna have the toolbox here all right so let's go ahead and grab the two pictures um, so that's the first one uh, let's grab the second one all right so the first thing that we're gonna do here is we are going to Go here, we're gonna select this image and we're gonna paste it, all right? So there's a couple of ways of you can do this. The easiest way is to control T. Uh, it'll select it. Um, then control C to copy this. We go where our image is and control V to paste this, okay? That's a monitor, all right. So this is kind of, all right, so let's go ahead and adjust this control T again to select the image. I don't know why it made it so small, so stupid. All right, uh, we, let's put it about halfway here. Oh shit, hang on. Hey, you want to make sure that you uh, it's the same size of your canvas um, this is so freaking annoying all right all right so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and plant this right so uh, a couple of things have changed apparently so what you need to do is, um, we already have the tool here, we're going to choose the gradient. Uh, we are going to select this one, uh, foreground to transparent. We want to make sure that we are on the top layer. We are going to right click, we are going to select the color black. Click away from it. Uh, then we are going to, oh shit, uh, right click on this. And then... Hang on. You right click, you go to add transparency mask. Okay. That's the difference. Add transparency mask. Then we are going to uh, select our gradient tool. Now we need to make sure that we select this image only. Okay. We don't want to be on the outside. So select here, drag away. Now, you can play around how much opacity you want this to. I started at 26, so I can, let me go ahead and undo it. Uh, let's put it at about point, how about 50, or 0.5, one, all right, let's. All right, then you can play around with the settings until you get it where you want to be. So it seems to be here that it's fairly, not bad. Uh, let's see how well it's the other one. So we can go even more. Uh, control Z again to undo it. So let's go about 0.70. Yep, uh, I think that's about right. 0.71. Uh, let's zoom in. 
and then on the video it's right about the same all right folks so here it is again this is the second video so that was the difference between um, the original video I made and the new ver the newer version of Krita right so you have to go here and um, add and then you put the transparency mask and then you go ahead and um, you select it uh, gradient tool all right hope I didn't confuse anyone with this one thanks